I'm Conway Gibbs reporting from the New York Stock Exchange. Here's what we're watching on the street today. Wall Street is coming off a solid session as investors assess whether or not stocks can continue their momentum into the back half of 2024. Investors are digesting comments from Fed Chair Jerome Powell as well as the May job openings report. This all comes ahead of Friday's release of highly anticipated employment data for June. In other news, one British company is aiming to disrupt the EV car charging market. Niobolt, based in Cambridge, England, has developed a battery that took just four and a half minutes to charge from 10% to 80%. That's about 75% faster than it takes current chargers, such as Tesla's supercharger, to complete. And Niobolt's CEO says he thinks the technology could be ready to use sooner than you think, saying, quote, our extensive research here in the UK and the US has unlocked a novel battery technology that is ready and scalable right now. We are enabling the electrification of new products and services currently considered inviolable or impossible. Long charging times and the lack of multiple places to recharge batteries are two reasons why EV sales have faltered. According to the North American Charging Standard, 75% of fast chargers in North America are made by Tesla, and nearly all U.S. car makers have committed to make EVs that are compatible with Tesla's technology. But that shouldn't deter Niobolt, as its CEO says, his company's batteries is also compatible with Tesla's technology. That'll do it for your daily briefing from the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Conway Gittins with The Street.